This is an ATV pull behind mower. It's kind of a rough cut mower, a little bit of a brush hog. So this should take some woody material up to about three inches or so. And I want to pair that with my mini skid steer. Now I want to have the option to run it with the mini with a mounting plate that I'll put on the back side here. But I also want to be able to still use this with an ATV pull style. So I can easily take off this bracket up front just by pulling these two bolts out on each side. And that'll just remove that bar out of there. And I can run that with the mini skid steer attachment or I can always throw that bracket back in there and hook it up to my ATV or side by side and use it as it was initially intended. How's it going guys? Just working on the mower attachment again today. And so what I'm doing here now is I've reinforced all of this on the bottom sides here and around the sides and as well as this top side here just to help distribute the load when I go to lift and tilt back on this. Previously, it was just denting in this uh, flat steel here, this really thin flat steel on the back side. And uh, without that reinforcement there, it just sort of pushed in. And so now with all of this, it actually will lift the deck without bending back here. Now, one problem that I have with these cheap attachment plates that you buy is they're oftentimes too wide or, or too tall for the, uh, for the male end on your machine. And so it fits in there, but there's a lot of play up and down. And so what I like to do with that is take some flat steel, two and a half inches wide, 23 and a half inches long, and usually this quarter inch steel works just about perfect for fitting right up in there, right up, right up inside of there to reduce some of that uh, play. And I can show you that on some of these other attachments that I've already done that for, like this one, for example, just added that piece of steel in there. And then in addition to the stump grinder as well, just this nice piece of steel on this bottom side. So I'm going to be doing the same thing with that. And uh, I'll show you the finished product here in a minute. So I've got it welded in here now. protective bar right here at the front just for brush just so it doesn't damage the motor i'm not really using this as a push bar necessarily um, it has a little bit of flex in it but it's really just for those branches that might get in here and damage some of this wiring or these hoses so other than that uh, i've rerouted the pto engagement from up there and i've just sort of tack welded it right here that engages it that releases it. Here's another look at the reinforcement that I put around the mounting plate here. Just some flat steel that runs on the top side. Some angle iron on the bottom corner here. And then some more flat steel that wraps around on the side. Now right underneath of here, I added some angle iron on the corners just to help with the overall reinforcement of it so there's no buckling from the weight of this machine as I'm lifting it. 
And so now, if we come to the front of this machine once again, my front corners, there was a gap between this area here and this bottom side, so I just filled it in with some weld on both sides, just filled in that. And that's pretty much it. We got her loaded up on the trailer. We're gonna go test this thing out. I'm hoping it works well.